Today we're here at Kalamazoo Public Schools Administration Building and what we're looking at is one of the 70 ton carrier air conditioning units. It's paired inside with a variable air volume air handling unit. This unit here has a digital scroll compressor which allows you to have some capacity control so that the unit can react and modulate depending on the demand in the building. We've got a 40 ton split air conditioning unit. It's paired with an indoor air handler inside. So we've uh, mounted the unit on some uh, vibration isolation springs just to prevent the unit from transferring any vibration to the structure. So we're right here we're looking at the outside air intake louvers for the two air handlers inside the space. Uh, this is bringing in your fresh air and your ventilation for the, for the building. We've got uh, two large indoor air handlers. Uh, these were modular units that we brought in in sections and we assembled them in place. These units have variable frequency drives on them, so these units actually have them on their supply fan and the return fan. And what they do is they speed the fan up and slow it down depending on the demand. It provides for a lot better energy efficiency. Now over here, we have hydronic heating coils in the units. They're also paired with coil pumps for each unit. And so this provides adequate flow through the coil and freeze protection as well. So what we have here is all the distribution duct going out to the rest of the building. We have our main supply and return that's going to be going down the shafts to feed the first and second floors. And what you see here in this uninsulated piece is some sound attenuators and these are going to help greatly reduce the noise transmission throughout the building. It's just going to make it a lot more quiet and pleasant space to be around. So originally they had a large water tube boiler that was in here. We totally ripped all the existing boilers and pumps out. It was a, a complete redo. And so we started from scratch, uh, all new boilers, all new piping, all new pumps. We got two Lockenvar power fin boilers here with a couple of uh, B and G, uh, seven and a half horsepower pumps. Again, the pumps are on variable speed drives, allows them to speed up and slow down based on building demand. We've also got a, uh, a filtration system here that allows us to clean the piping, clean the water that's running through the piping and just gives them a lot better longevity over the years. So uh, here we've got a good view of a lot of our uh, boiler and hydronic piping that went into these new boiler systems. Uh, we've got gas, we've got hydronic, we've got domestic water here. Uh, we've also got uh, a chemical feeder that allows them to add their boiler chemical treatment, allows them to uh, have a rust inhibitor in there, gives them better longevity for all their piping systems. We've also got a new water softening system over here, provides soft domestic water throughout the building, but then also uh, soft water for the boiler system provides better chemistry of the hydronic systems. So what we've got going on here is we've got two new large Victolic hydronic piping mains and then we've also got new refrigeration piping installed to feed the new server room Liebert unit. They've got a much more energy efficient system. They've got a system that's going to work a lot better for them, provide them a lot better control. It's going to be better for maintenance, better comfort for all their staff. No matter how big their jobs are, big or small, that we can take care of them. We can remove the old inefficient equipment and then install new efficient equipment. So I just wanted to say thanks to all our uh, craftsmen that work for us on this project. We've come a long way from when this room was just a wide open concrete space to uh, all the new boilers and pumps and piping that we've installed. Uh, could have done it without our guys and just a testament to their hard work and their dedication to making these projects a success for us.